fairly self-explanatory, but basically you're just going to like finish modeling your hero object. Um, Realist, uh, like the, the goal is to finish modeling it. Um, I realize there might you know be a few tweaks that you guys still like make to it in coming weeks or whatever, but um, definitely shoot to get most of it done if you can, um, because you still have you know the two other objects and like the rest of the room stuff and all of your texturing to do. So, like, trust me, you don't want to leave that till week nine. So, um, so all, all the hero objects. Just just your your one hero object. So. <laughs> Um, so you're doing three objects. One is like your your hero main object. Um, so if I say hero object, I mean like that one one of your three models that isn't the furniture or the random decorative thing. Okay. Um, so you're you're just shooting for that the one model this week. Um, and I think next week you'll be doing unless I'm going crazy. Uh, it's next week you're doing the furniture and the decorative object. So if you want to get a jump on it, you can. Um, but yeah, so pretty much model the whole thing. Um, and again, stuff should be done uh, to scale with as much detail as you can manage. Um, if you're gonna, and then like obviously small stuff, you know, you can still do displacement maps for. That's like a texturing thing later on. Um, and then, um, so I have uh, to UV your object here. Uh, if you haven't finished modeling it, I would say just get as much modeling done stuff, modeling stuff done as you can, and then wait to UV it because I'd rather. I'd rather you like spend time modeling than like UVing a half completed object that you're gonna have to go back and like redo the UVs. Um, but yeah, and then again, just like consider depends on your workflow. Don't really care what you do, but um, some people prefer UVing objects like as they make things. Um, you know, if you're if your your object is multiple pieces, um, sort of UVing as you go versus UVing all at the end. Again, personal preference. Um, and then just like if it's so I think I think I gave you guys my sort of like weird disclaimer at the beginning of the quarter, where like if it's modeled as something in multiple pieces, uh, or it's like made of multiple materials, you're welcome to fabricate it as multiple pieces, should you desire. Um, so again, you guys are welcome to do that if you want. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like UV and put object in the scene and re-render with your lighting. Um, and then just submit a zip file. I don't need your whole project folder um, unless you have like texturing stuff you want me to look at, but just your Maya scene and the render of the objects in the scene and any reference pictures you used for that particular object. Um, so any questions on this? Oh, you don't have to texture, right? No, texturing is a, is a later problems thing. Although if you want to get in preliminary yeah. textures, <laughs> um, I'm going to, yeah, so the, the, the modeling for the objects and stuff is like pretty front loaded onto, bless you, uh, onto these like next coming weeks um, because it does, it does end up taking a surprisingly long time to just like make a bunch of random tchotchke objects to fill a space with. Um, and by the time you you know texture all that, you, you, like it'd really be better to have all the the main objects sort of done before that. Um, but yeah, so any any questions about the you know when it makes sense to model stuff as one part versus multiple parts or anything like that? All right. Um, the only thing I'll say really with that, um, so like. If you're shooting for like a high resolution model, like something you might use in like a commercial render or something like that, um, and by that I mean mostly for like animation students, um, if you want to make the thing in like eight bajillion pieces, you're welcome to, and like have each screw be its own piece, that kind of thing. Um, or like if you're doing, for some reason I went through the stand mixers because I'm apparently a spaz, but um, it's like for a stand mixer, um, if you wanted to, for something like this. I don't know. Sure. For something like this, um, so like for an anim student, I think um, it would make sense to make like this top piece as one object. Um, you could make the button a separate object if you wanted to, because um, that way you'd be able to flick it back and forth. Um, this thing would be like this bottom piece would be its own thing. Um, and then as far as I'm concerned, if you wanted to like make a separate ob like piece of metal that wraps around, again that could be another piece. Um, if you're making this for something like a game mesh, um, it probably would make more sense to just model the whole thing in one go, um, unless you need specific functionality, like to have this lid tip back. Um, in that case, probably make it as two pieces. Uh, it will make your life easier. Um, but like the button and stuff like that could just be modeled into the, the main mixer. Um, so again, it just kind of like depends on what you're doing, because again, if you're, doing, if you're doing Unity, you don't want like a bajillion polys um, on all your stuff. Although for this project, it's I doubt anyone's going to hit like a significant render issue with processing their stuff, but yeah. So, anywho, that makes sense. All right. 
Um, all right, cool. So that is pretty much the assignment for this week. Um, in that case, I'm just going to